I am on a mission. And my mission is to change the way that menopause is perceived and treated. What everybody's still believing to this day is, oh my God, hormones cause breast cancer. That is why I don't want to be on hormone therapy. That is my biggest fear, right? Estrogens do not cause breast cancer. They can cause pre-existing breast cancers to grow, right? Because they're a rebuilding hormone, okay? And insulin is the primary rebuilding hormone. So insulin causes breast cell cancers to grow and estradiol helps insulin do its job, okay? Are we gonna take out your insulin if you get breast cancer? No, okay, you die. How did we get here? Well, it started with symptoms, right? Hot flashes, women were miserable. Again, the turn of the century, we are, this is new stuff, right? Women hadn't lived long enough to go into menopause. This is all new things, okay? Premarin was invented and patented, okay? But because of the increased uterine cancer, we added Provera in a cycling manner. But because cycling Provera makes women feel absolutely dreadful, we went to continuous combined therapy without studying it, okay? Without even thinking about what that could possibly do if we change the way the body, you know, would handle hormones. In other words, when do you ever see daily high doses of progesterone blocking your estrogen? Okay. Pregnancy, that's the only time. Okay, well, seriously, if you were pregnant for years on end, you know, that, that's harmful to your physiology, okay? Provera was added to reduce uterine cancer without thinking about it, and then the Women's Health Initiative study came out and saying breast cancer, right? A, a risk for Alzheimer's, which we didn't even talk about. Heart disease risk, stroke disease risk, and breast cancer, okay? We're gonna throw out the baby with the bathwater. All hormones are evil. They all cause disease, okay? And again, that's where we are today, really.